Hey, welcome back. Today we're going to talk about how to find the surface area of a cylinder. So this is the area of all the flat surfaces around a cylinder. The tricky part is going to be finding this curved surface around the edge. So what we're going to do here is we're going to find the net of our cylinder. If you pulled off the two ends and unrolled the rectangle in the middle, the side would unroll into this rectangle right here. So to find our surface area, let's find this the area of the two flat surfaces on the top and on the bottom. And to do that, we need our radius. So the diameter is 32. The radius is 16. So what we're going to do here is we'll use pi r squared to find the area of each circle. So pi times 16 squared, which would give me 256 pi for the top and the bottom areas. Now to find the rectangle, we need two things. We need the base we need the height. The height's not too bad to find. It's given as 14. But if you took a piece of paper and rolled it into a cylinder, and then you traced the circumference of that cylinder. So now you've got this piece of paper in front of you. You've rolled it up into a cylinder. You can see what the circumference is. If you unroll it, that circumference becomes this side length down here. So this is your circumference, which we know is 2 pi r, or 2 times pi times 16, or 32 pi. So I have 256 pi for the top and bottom. And that rectangle is going to be 32 times pi times 14. So if I simplify that, 32 times 14 is 448. And then just put your pi in the end. So you can just add up all these pi's and you'll get 256 plus 256 plus 448 gets you 960 pi. And that is square inches. All right, let's do two more. Here's another good one. Uh, here we go. So again, it's here's our radius is 14. So the top part would be pi times 14 squared, or 196 pi. Same for the bottom, because they're both circles. And here my height is given as 29, but to find this side length, I need the circumference. So 2 times pi times 14. That would be 28 pi. So my three areas are 196 for the top, 196 pi for the bottom. And if I do 28 times 29 to simplify, that's 812, but don't forget about that pi that was with the 28 pi. So if you add all those up, it's 1,204 pi square millimeters. Now I'm going to give you a couple minutes to try this last one, but first we need to find our diameter and our radius. So you might be faced with a challenge problem just like this, where they give you the diagonal and the height. Well, the height is always going to be at a right angle to the base, which means that I've got this nice right triangle, and I can use my Pythagorean theorem to find out that this should be 24 millimeters. It's a 6, 8, 10. So 6 times 4, 8 times 4, 10 times 4. Or a 3, 4, 5. 
we did, you know, three times eight, four times eight, five times eight. Which means that our radius is going to be 12. So I've got 12 is the radius, 32 is the height. See if you can find your total area. I would pause the video and then unpause once you're done. Okay, so you should be done by now. If not, just pause the video. But each circle is going to be 12 squared times pi or 144 pi. And then here, my base is 24 pi. My height is 32. 24 times 32. 768 pi, add them all up, and you get 1056 pi square millimeters. So let me know what questions you have, send me an email, or I will see you in class.